channel i try to like have a space where people can come and not worry about you know their life and what they got going on and their anxiety i try to make this my channel i try to make this space very you know good vibes only i don't really post about a lot of crazy stuff in my life kind of keep it to myself and keep it private but it is just way too much going on for me not to tell you guys so the last time i was vlogging was pretty much on my birthday um so my last vlog was like my birthday party in Atlanta. Well, it wasn't a party, but yeah. My last vlog was in August. It's October. Now, did I really, did I intentionally miss a whole month just because I can? No. I don't even know what happened. The time just literally, September passed by so quick. I feel like September had just got here, literally yesterday. I feel like September just got here. And like everything just kind of caught up. I was in Atlanta for a while, so... You know, I didn't really want to vlog and have cameras, you know, in people's faces and stuff. But my dad and everybody was like, you know, it's cool. But I don't know. I just, I don't know. Time just kind of caught up with me. And I got, I came here. I'm pretty sure you know the background is different. I haven't even done a main channel yet. Like, I've been, I've been missing from YouTube for a little while. So, yeah, there's a lot going on. I will get into that um, now, actually. So, like I said, the background is different. I'm currently staying at my sister's house. Um, actually, I did, I think I did was going to do a vlog about this, but I ended up deleting the footage because I was too lazy to edit. So I think I did do a vlog, so just kind of let it run away from me. Um, yeah. So, basically, what's going on is we are not in the old house, the old apartment anymore. Now, again, usually I don't really tell my business, but I feel like I kind of wanted to update you guys. And I did say I wanted to be more personal with y'all anyway, so I feel like why not? Whoever judge me, judge me. I don't really care. I know it's a lot of people who watch me that don't like me. Probably some ex-friends still hanging around watching. I don't care because we all go through bad days. At the end of the day, I really don't care if you judge me or talk about me or whatever. It's fine. I don't really care. I don't care. Especially nowadays, I'm getting older. Baby... You know, none of that stuff really fades me anymore. I don't really care who's talking about me. Baby, put me in your group chat. I don't care. I'm already the number one topic anyway, so it really doesn't matter. You know, and I've learned through tarot reading that it's people who got more than me that's still jealous. So, baby, at the end of the day, you're still not me. Let me tell you something. I may be going through something now, but best believe, Deidre, she don't stay down long. One thing about her, she don't stay down long, okay? She gonna get her ish together, and she gonna get back where she was, period. And ain't nothing else to discuss. Ain't nothing else to talk about with that. But anyways, it's just life, okay? I don't care what you say. People go through things. Life is life right now for me, and that's fine, whatever. You know, you have your ups and downs. Like, it's normal for everybody. But anyway, so the reason why I'm staying here is because our apartment wasn't ready in time. So it's still getting renovated for us to move in. Well, our place. I don't really want to say where we're moving yet just yet. But our place was not ready. So we, it was either here or going to put our stuff in storage and get a hotel room. Mind you, when they moved all this stuff in here, I was in Atlanta still. I came back like, what, two, three weeks ago? So yeah, I kind of just got here. So it's just been some crazy chaotic things going on in my life. So I also just recently found out that I got diagnosed with high cholesterol. So yeah, I have high cholesterol, and let me tell you, the journey so far has been it's been hectic. I don't cry, y'all. I just it, it's so much going on with me right now. I'm not even gonna lie, and I just I think for real that's probably why I have not been vlogging. But yeah, it's just a lot going on, and that's why I have not been vlogging. It's just been a lot but i'm getting things handled behind the scenes um i will be in my new house next year i am moving on my own next year but for now sorry my computer 
but for now, I am staying with my mom until, you know, we got to get a new place set up and get it ready. So I'll be staying there temporarily until I move on my own. So it's just like a lot of moving back and forth, okay? But I'm just, I'm just ready to get into the new place. Um, it's just nothing like your own. It's nothing like your own. I really don't care how you put it. It's nothing like staying on your own two feet, staying in your own place, in your own home. Um... So, yeah, it's just a lot going on with me personally, but it's nothing I can't handle. I, I've been through way worse before in life. So, I feel like I'm just kind of taking it with a grain of salt. <laughs> and, yeah, like I said, speaking of salt, high cholesterol. My journey has been hell. Like, y'all, when I tell you I have to look at everything now before I eat it, so hard. Like, all I want to do is eat what I eat. Like, it's, it's so crazy because, like... My auntie and my dad side told me a long time ago, like, girl, be careful how you eat them snacks and those hot Cheetos and it's going to catch up with you one day. And I'll be there if it didn't catch up with me because, oh, my God, y'all, I am really going through it. Like, when it comes to that, like, figuring out meals and what to cook, that's going to be mine. Oh, my hair. That's my hair. Oh, my God. Y'all, I thought it was a fly or something. I thought it was, this is my hair. Okay, so, baby, what? Hold on, man. Okay, <laughs> back to reality. Back to life. Back to reality. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah. So, there's been things going around. Um, things happening in my life. But, you know, like I said, it's nothing I can't handle. You know, it's nothing I can't handle. I've, I've, I've gone through so much in life. And yet, every day I wake up, it's a fight. I am literally a soldier. I'm so strong and I'm so proud of myself. Um, just for making it this far, you know. Because there are things that could be worse, you know. But I do want to get this high cholesterol under control. I want to lower it down. But it's been, again, it's, it's been hard because my family has... They're kind of not really... I hate no help because... Like, let me just explain why. We were just in the store today. And my mom was trying to get me to eat like this. It's like candy corn and stuff like I was just eating. I ain't gonna lie. I was just eating them before I realized I had high cholesterol. Oh, you want this? You want it? No, I can't. I can't have it. I can't have it, y'all. Please stop telling me what I need to eat. Like, they, I think they forget. So, it's okay. Like I said, I have to keep reminding them now. I can't eat pizza. It's too salty. Pepperoni is way too salty. Like, I can't eat cheese. I can't eat butter. I feel like I'll sneak in something every now and then, but I really, 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 I really want to do right. Especially now that I learned that you can have heart disease, strokes, heart, like, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I gotta get this under control. And it is gonna be hard for me, but I, I really need to, like, buckle down and get this thing right, and it's, it's just a lot, it's a lot, but, um, yes, I do have high cholesterol, and I'm gonna try to get it under control, and yeah i will be moving soon though so that's why i'm i'm staying with my sister and stuff but i'm 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 still here through it all i'm still thankful through it all and yeah <laughs> i don't feel like working out uh not just with eating healthy with high cholesterol you actually have to work out now i have to work out every day or at least every other day, because I know I'm lazy. And I'm probably not going to do the everything day, every day thing right now. But every other day. I worked out yesterday, I think. And now I'm going to work out again today. So, I wish me luck. I, also, I'm not going to change it to any workout clothes today. I'm just going to do like maybe 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, hopefully, it shouldn't take me that long. I just don't feel like changing clothes. Because I'm going to take a shower any minute anyways and put on my PJ. So, just work out on this. Oh my god. <sighs> Y'all, I just had to cool down before I started vlogging because, baby, it ain't no joke. So, I did a 20 minutes top workout. And between those 20 minutes, I took a little five minute, well, four minute break because I did go ahead. I wasn't gonna do five minutes, but I wanted to go ahead and get out of the way because it's a little later on. Usually I don't work out this late, but I forgot to do it earlier because I was out and about. 
Honestly, I didn't know I was going to vlog today. I did not know. I have trouble, like, talking when I talk fast. Maybe I should, like, slow down. But, honey, I'm tired. <laughs> I am so tired. So, I had a few of these today to give me some energy so I can work out. Um, and they were good. They were okay. The energy, as far as energy-wise, honestly, I didn't really feel a difference. So, maybe I didn't eat enough. But, anyways, y'all. So, I'm tired. I am going to go take a shower and put on my PJ so we can try to see can we clean up this room a little bit more. It is a little bit messy. I'm not going to lie. Ever since I've been here, my anxiety has been through the roof and I've not had, had a chance to like kind of clean it up a little bit better. So we're going to try to do that tonight. <laughs> okay we're not doing that anyways y'all so i'm back it is later on tonight and i'm in my pj i got my pjs on feeling comfy and comfortable so yeah these are not my halloween ones these are the ones i just got recently from walmart when i was in atlanta um i think i only went like two or three times so yeah but these are cute with a little cute mattress set nothing too much anyways y'all i'm about to drink all the juice yeah Anyways, y'all, it is time to try to clean up this corner. Now, let me show y'all the corner I'm talking about so y'all can get a glimpse of what I'm doing. Anyways, so, yes, this is, it's, it's what it is. Okay, so that's why I put this, <laughs> black person move, put this cup right here. Again, majority of this stuff, I can be, I, it can be put up. I know it can. I'll probably just try to get to half of this stuff tonight and half of it tomorrow because I'm already, it's late, I'm already sleepy, and I just want to go to bed. So, um, we'll just see what I can do with some of this stuff. Anyways, I'm moving to it anyways, so I got to pack all this stuff up again. So, yeah. This is my bed. Um, that's the whole area, though. And yeah, so everything y'all down. Now, y'all know me, I'm a Virgo. So, as a Virgo, all of that would have been cleaned up by now. But again, I'm going through a lot, child. My anxiety, I just been letting shit be, letting things slide, not cleaning up. Yeah, so I had my little hermit moment for a while, but now it's time to get things together, get things packing. And yeah, so let me take y'all to, hold on. Okay, so I think I showed this earlier. Um, so this is the chef I got to organize some of this stuff and make it look a lot better in here. Um, I got this from Five and Below, so we're gonna go ahead and open it and try to get some of this stuff organized tonight and then the rest I'll do in the morning. So yeah, we're gonna even see if this works. I don't know. I just want things to look a lot, you know, just a little bit better. Cause just have it neat while I'm here, because I'm at somebody else's house. This is not my house. So I want to at least try to have it neat while I'm here and then, you know, handle everything else. So yeah. away i packed up some of my like glass pieces go ahead and have those packed up i did not use that shelf yet so what i'll do is because i do need to clean up that closet it's not really messy it just has um a few things in there i need to get out so what i'll do is i'll clean up the closet in the morning and then i'll put the shelf in there i just hang i, I at first i had to hang it right there but i'm like no that's ugly i'm gonna put it in the closet because that's where it goes so yeah i did pack a few things up i cleaned up a little bit more in that area and child i'm gonna let it be that honey because child yeah so i don't know what i want to do next i'm kind of sleepy what i do want to do like a face mask i feel like i haven't done like a spa night in so freaking long and my skin i just feel like my skin needs a good face mask so let's do one so before we do the face mask i got something Oh my God, I got a skull, I got this. Y'all, I know this is like the most like crazy, simplest task ever, but sometimes my inner child, she just comes out whenever she feels like it. 
because I did with you know minor childhood trauma I don't know I just I'm that's just me sometimes I want to play with slime sometimes I want to do silly stupid stuff like this I don't know I'm an adult I'm almost 30 don't judge me she just comes out sometimes anyways so I already know how simple and easy this is but I might do this part for tonight but I really want to like get my Halloween makeup and like do something spooky with the skull. I don't know. It's just weird. So let's do it. Rip me out the plastic. <laughs> so, got the skull. We got the little toys. So, honestly, I'm going to do this for now, but the main reason why I got this goal is when I do my little special effects makeup, I'm going to need a little head to put my big pieces on, if you know what I mean. If you're not, like, into, like, Halloween special effects makeup, then you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but I needed a head to use my prosthetics on, pretty much. So, let's get started. Um, what? Okay, this is the mouth. I feel like I'm gonna do that last. Oh, the eyes! How is this gonna work? This is a skull, baby. What, you just supposed to poke the tooth. This is not even for a skull. What? Okay, maybe the mouth can work. This is not even, this is for Halloween. This is for um pumpkin. But they had it up there with the skull. That just looks interesting okay. I don't know how to say no more <laughs> this side maybe this skull looks like he's handicapped but we're gonna keep going I don't know <laughs> thing is is the ears is whatever we're gonna we're gonna assume that this is the ear oh oh satisfying <laughs> in the middle of the freaking skull because I'm because I need the, the, the eyes for the prosthetic makeup so bump the eyes you just got this this looks horrific <laughs> it looks like he belongs in a freak show I don't know what type of freak show it will be but <laughs> what shall his name be comment it down below hello <laughs> oh my god all right you guys i got a little late night snack um cheerios <laughs> these are the ones that help with cholesterol i can't really eat anything else right now um i ran out of my um pecans so this is what i got <laughs> so this is my skin i still got the face mask rubbed in I'm gonna like wash my face in a minute, but I wanted to let it sit for at least about mm, four to five more minutes, four to five, and then I'm gonna wash and go to bed. the next day I cooked my breakfast I had oatmeal with a 
spoonful of peanut butter and that's what I ate for breakfast and I need to get up this vlog for you guys and I actually have to film the last episode of Who Is She Today. Oh my god, I'm so like scared because like I want to make sure this this episode is perfect because it's the last episode of the last season of Who Is She. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, the link down below will be to my main channel so you can watch my show and yeah, I will see you guys next time.